Greetings, Architecture One students and whoever else might be watching this video. Um, as uh, some of my students probably now see, I'm putting these videos on YouTube. I used to host them on YouTube all the time, um, and uh, then I kind of quit for a while, but uh, decided to go back and start hosting them also, or having YouTube host them as well as, uh, well, my original uh, host. But anyway, uh, this video is going to be how to download blocks and use your AutoCAD design library. Um, so let's get started. So how do we download blocks to begin with? Well, first we go to the internet and we really just simply type in the term CAD blocks. And you will come up with all kinds of websites that offer free and sometimes paid CAD blocks. Typically, your free ones are usually a little bit older. Um, and, uh, you know, that's really about the only thing that I've found with them is that they're just, you know, older uh, things, okay, older stuff. But um, the newer ones... You know, they're typically a lot newer. They might have newer products inside of them. And what I mean by that is these are actual drawings of real products that you have in in the store. So uh, these can really accurately um, do two things for you. One is help you in the uh, design process when you're designing a structure and knowing whether or not you've got the furniture or that you've got the space in the areas for the furniture, which is typically what we use that for. Or if you're going as far as doing your interior design, then of course that can really help with interior design. We always like to show our clients um, when we have a completed set of drawings, I always like to show that to them with uh, furniture so that they can see what this house is going to look like when they're because you know structure doesn't mean as much to them as it does to say us and the the people building this building but the furniture means everything to them the furniture really doesn't mean that much to me okay and it may not mean that much to you but it really does mean a lot to them so that is you know not only helps you with the design but also helps you with the client as well so if we just click on one here's one i'm very um, familiar with is cad blocks free downloads um, there's several other ones that i use and you can actually see here that some of these um, palettes of drawings are you know five six bucks and i do know a page we can go to that has free ones pretty right off off the bat um Maybe was it this one? Yeah, cadblocks.net is a good one to go to. And they have some right off the right off the bat that are free that you can download. So how do you download this? Well, let's say we're going to go for furniture blocks. We click on that and we get uh, several different types of furniture blocks. Uh, let's just do beds, for instance. Okay. And then we want to download this. Now, there is a little bit of a bug on this site, or at least there is for me. And I can't really click uh, download CAD blocks and it actually download the CAD blocks. I have to right click it and say open in a new tab and click open in a new tab and it starts to open it up here, but then it disappears. However, that, um, oops, do it like this. Okay, if my little toolbar here wasn't up then you could probably see it but it comes up right down here on the bottom bottom left corner of your browser screen if you're using chrome it'll just come up right there and you can actually open it from there or you can go to your downloads folder okay clicking on my folders down here finding my downloads and you can see it is the first uh, download right here my downloads folders so i click on that and i have to extract everything but before i do that what i want to do is go to my documents i want to create a new folder in there uh, and you just click on new folder okay and it asks puts a new folder right here and it asks you to name that okay i'm not going to do that because i've already got one it's called cad blocks right here so in that name block when you uh, access this new folder just type in there CAD blocks okay and I'm gonna accept that but then I'm going to delete that folder 
because I don't want two CAD block folders, although I probably do have another one down here somewhere. But anyway, now that you've got your CAD blocks folder, go back to your downloads, open that right here, open it, and then click over here on Extract All. And then once this dialog box comes up, click on Browse and make sure you go and you find that folder so it is, it's already in that folder, but I'm just going to show you how to get to it. Documents, and then scroll down here and find CAD blocks right there. Open it and then tell it to save what you're extracting into that folder. Okay, so now it's set CAD blocks. Extract. And it says I've already got one in there, but that's okay. So you, you, you're, you probably wouldn't get this message unless you already had a file of that same name in there. So I'm just going to delete that. There's no sense in unpacking it again. Okay. So now that we are in, um, back in AutoCAD, we can actually go to our problem statement file, our problem statement assignment. Now in our, plans here in our assignment we can actually go to the insert tab and this is really easy compared to what it used to be years ago or even as a few years ago it's a lot easier now um, we can click on the insert tab to get the insert ribbon and we click on the insert tool and we go to blocks from libraries now you see some blocks here already that's because I've already been playing with it and loading some things in but I can go here to blocks from libraries and now it pulls up all of my libraries. Now, when you first come here, you'll, you'll probably see the palette will be empty. Um, just, you know, hang on for a minute. It will populate eventually. Uh, it might be a little slow. Your computer may be a little bit slower than mine. So um, once you go into your libraries, just give it a few minutes, you know, get up and go make a sandwich or something and come back later. Uh, but the way this works, let's see, make sure I haven't missed anything I need to tell you. Insert tab, file navigation. Okay, so here is right over here, um, just to understand how this dialog box works, this is your file navigation. So here, if I click on this and drop this down, these are previous uh, collections of drawings that I've had. If I click on bath blocks the best library was not found do you want to remove it from this list uh might as well okay so for some reason it's not uh connecting to that let's try a house designer okay so now it is loading this one's going to take a, a you know seconds i guess not really long and again it might take longer on your computer but we just kind of sit here and wait for it to, to come up now when you first come to this dialog box come to your libraries you may not see much um, if you don't see anything, or if you don't even see much, the way to get to your other folders, and here it goes, it's now populating. Okay, there we go. Got some door swings and everything else in there. These are 45 degree door swings. Um, of course, don't use those because in this assignment, you need to use 90 degree door swings. All right, but if you don't have the folder inside of here when you click on the little drop down you can actually just click on this icon right here or click on it right here and say go back and browse your block libraries and this takes you back to your you know computer's file management uh, dialog and you can go here right here to documents over here on the left column click on documents and then you can get right to that cad folder um, just look for cad blocks the folder that you made there it is. Double click it, and then you've got all of your 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 sheets of blocks. Okay, so um, I think bath blocks was the one that wasn't coming up, so I can reload that one in here. We click open, and you see this is actually where I got the tub and the toilet um, when I actually made the bathroom. I used um, the sink. I actually used two products from this palette. Uh, to make the sink, I placed the sink and then I put the little faucet and everything on top of it and then grouped all that together. So all you have to do here is just drag things into the view. You have to make sure, of course, we're doing a plan view. So you have to make sure that the objects you're looking at that you're going to drag over into your drawing are plan view objects. In other words, being seen from the top down. But all you have to do is just click and then drag it over and then drop it. Uh, of course, putting it on the appropriate layer by clicking on it, going to home, 
and then whatever layer you have for your plumbing fixtures. Okay, and that will put it on that layer. Okay, so it's really that easy. Now, one thing you might come across that isn't that easy, um, I'm going to go to beds. Okay, and it's depending on, there's a lot of variables that can depend on how these items will work in your drawing. Uh, now, some of these items may have been drawn in a different scale, uh, maybe a metric scale or maybe uh, an imperial scale um, or maybe, you know, no scale at all. But there's different variables that can affect how these items pull into your project. So I'm going to take this bed and pull it in here. Now, if I hover around for a second, you can see that there's nothing coming with it. It doesn't look like it anyway. And you probably can't see this, but there's a little tiny green dot at the point of my cursor there, my arrow cursor, my pointer. All right. And that's because this was created in a scale not like my own. OK, not like the scale that I'm using. I'm currently using one quarter one. Well, all I have to do is select this green dot, which is the bed. OK. And then go to the scale button right here and click on scale and then go back and click on that green dot again and I can make that bed larger. OK, now how big do I make that bed? Well, we do have some charts, some references that I showed you earlier in the year that um, listed the common sizes of these these items. So if I go to that folder in Schoology, and if, if you're one of my students, you'll have this folder. Um, and I am looking for sleeping area furniture. Click on that and then look at some of these sizes. We have a single bed and these are different sizes right here. It's a twin bed. So these are some of the common sizes that you can find a twin bed in 75 by 39 or yeah, width is 39, 75 is length. Um, most of the widths are 39. Some of the lengths varies from 75, 80 to 84. So whatever we do, we can at least get the 39. So how would I fix that? I can probably draw a box right here, just a kind of a guide box. And I can draw that. Let's see, it's going to be uh, length of the bed first or, you know, width first, according to the way that my AutoCAD is set up. Um, but we said we saw one that was 80 inches. So we'll set one up at 80 inches. Then we'll tab over to the next box, our Y coordinate, and 39 inches. We'll take the bed and we'll move it. We'll set it right inside that box right here at that corner lock it into that corner and then we'll go back to our scale tool come back to this corner and then we can scale it up and down and what we can do is just scale whichever way fits best or first now if I do it by length then the bed comes up you know not quite as wide but that's okay okay we're not looking uh, with the furniture here, you know, with me, we're not looking for perfection regarding the furniture. We're just looking to get, you know, a good length and or even a width. So if you decide to go with width, just make it a little bit longer, but then enlarge it until it fits into the width section. Okay, so I might even enlarge it up to this size right here. Uh, that would be the 39 inches wide. Now this bed has like a drawer or something sticking out on it. That's what I'm assuming that is. But once you get it to the size that you want, you can just get it there and then click it and it's going to stay that size. And then you can click on it again and just move it around and put it in place. Just like I did these. Okay, so I've got those beds right in there. Okay, and these are actually two separate types of beds. Uh, they're not the same, so that's why the the size is a little different. But uh, that's that's how you use blocks, and then and also don't forget that part about adjusting when you bring it in, and it's like a little tiny dot. Um, you can adjust that and make it its appropriate size, but you need to make it an appropriate size. You don't need to make a humongous one or one that is too small, because then that's going to be misleading as to how much room is actually available in that area. OK, so we need to be very cautious about making sure that we truthfully represent the area or the, the space that this furniture is going to take up in the home. 
And that's really all you need to do for for this. I want you to uh, apply that to your problem statement. For those of you who are my students, apply that to your problem statement and uh, use these palettes to, um, you know, create your furniture or your interior design. Okay. Well, thank you very much. And again, if you have any questions, please email me or, you know, like I said before, we can set up a Zoom conference uh, with just you and myself, or we can set up a Zoom conference with several students at one time. That doesn't matter. Or I might just might just be good just to do it by email. I'll let you decide.